welcome back everyone in this video i'm going to talk about morphology or external features of hermenia you all know that hermenia is a very primitive vertebrate it is commonly called as sea squid they are exclusively marine organism and mostly they are present in the shallow water region they are solitary and sessile in nature solitary means they live alone or they are present in single or they are not present in colonies Sessile means they are not a free moving organism. They are attached to some substratum. Substratum may be hard substances like rocks or molluscan shell or they simply get attached themselves to the sandy surface. If you observe the body of organism, Hermenia is roughly rectangular in shape and it is somewhat laterally compressed. The free surface of the Hermenia is slightly longer and broader when compared to the base. Base is smaller and narrower in size. The size of Hermenia vary from few millimeter to few centimeter. The body of this Hermenia is covered by a tough leathery gelatinous covering called as test or tunic. This test or tunic layer is produced by the underlying epidermis. So just below this test layer, a layer of epidermis is present. And it is this epidermis produces this test or tunic layer. The test or tunic layer made up of a matrix called as tunicin. This tunicin is similar to that of cellulose. This test or tunic layer is transparent in the young animal and it becomes opaque as the animal grows or as the animal ages. Due to this transparency nature of the test or tunic layer in the young organism, the very minute blood capillaries are clearly visible from the surface. So because of this, fresh specimen or the young animal look pinkish in color. One more feature of this test or tunic is it is frequently replaced by the new test or tunic layer which is produced by the underlying epidermis. The main function of this test or tunic layer is it acts as an accessory respiratory organ and a receptor organ for the body of Hermenia. The body of Hermenia is divided into mainly two parts. They are body proper and food. Anyhow, this food part or the basal part is absent in those organisms which are attached to hard substratum like rocks or molluscan shells. But this food part or the basal part is present in those organisms which are attached to the sandy bed or sandy substratum. Anyhow, I am going to talk about both the part one by one. First, let me explain about the body proper. Body proper is a free end of the organism. As I already told, body proper is longer and broader when compared to the foot or the basal part. The free end of the body proper consisting of two conical projections called as branchial siphon and atrial siphon. Branchial siphon is also called as oral siphon or incurrent siphon and atrial siphon is also called as cloacal siphon and excurrent siphon. Siphon is also termed as funnel in some of the textbook. These two siphons phase away from each other like two ears of the teddy bear. When compared to atrial siphon, the branchial siphon is smaller and it phase outward. The branchial siphon consisting of an aperture at the center called as branchial aperture. Branchial aperture is also called as mouth or incurrent opening. On the other hand, atrial siphon is larger and it faces downwards. It also has an opening at the center called as atrial aperture. Atrial aperture is also called as cloacal opening or excurrent opening. Both this branchial aperture and atrial aperture is guarded by four lips or lobes. And these lips or lobes are formed by much elastic test. So when there is any slight disturbance in the surrounding water of this organism, these aperture contract and it will close. At the base of both branchial siphon and atrial siphon, rings of tentacles are present. The tentacles which are present around the mouth are called as oral tentacle or branchial tentacle. And the tentacle which are present at the atrial aperture are called as atrial tentacle. This oral tentacle which are present around the mouth are slightly larger and it forms a sort of sieving apparatus around the mouth. 
which prevents the entry of larger food particle into the body. The water current enters the body through this branchial aperture and it leaves the body through this atrial aperture carrying the undigestible food particles, sex cells, excretory waste and carbon dioxide. Second body part is food. This food is entirely made up of test or tunic. Food is dirty in color and rough in appearance. That is because of attachment of certain substances like sand, shell pieces, algae and other foreign particles. With the help of this food, the animal attaches itself to the sandy surface. If the substratum is hard like molluscal shells or the rocks, then this body proper itself forms a broad flat base called as basal disc. With the help of this basal disc, the organism gets attached itself to the hard substratum. In such condition, this food is entirely absent. So that is all about the morphology or external features of Hermenia. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.